Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. Welcome to the ChatGPT Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Each episode, we dive into the latest developments in the exciting field of artificial intelligence, exploring its applications and potential impacts on our daily lives. If you are looking for an innovative and creative community of people using ChatGPT, you need to join our ChatGPT creators community. I'll drop a link in the description to this podcast. We'd love to see you there where we share tips and tricks of what is working in ChatGPT. It's a lot easier than a podcast as you can see screenshots, you can share and comment on things that are currently working. So if this sounds interesting to you, check out the link in the comment. We'd love to have you in the community how ChatGPT is going to disrupt graphic design. And before you go ahead and say, look, obviously ChatGPT can't create designs, I want to tell you about A, a couple ways it can, and B, uh, talk to you a little bit about some of the areas that you can, um, some of the ways you can use ChatGPT and other image generating tools that I think will completely disrupt graphic design. So let's jump into it. Um, First things first, I think there's a handful of areas that are going to be completely disrupted. I think that's advertising, fashion, publishing, web design, um, packaging, and a lot of other areas. UX designers, creative directors. So let's jump into them. First off, uh, you know, I've tested, I've, I've done podcasts in the past talking a little bit about me trying to get ChatGPT to create art. Um, it can do different, uh, it can do some different things. Go listen to those podcasts. They're kind of funny. Um, but recently I've found out it's actually capable of creating SVG files. So it'll shoot you out a bunch of text that is code that you can then translate, um, into that you can use it to translate into an image. And I've seen people actually using chat GPT to create icons or logos. So they'll say, I have a company that does X, Y, and Z create me an SVG file. Um, for a logo for that company. And it is actually able to do it. It comes up with some cool shapes and some cool things. So I wouldn't count it out entirely. Um, And it's probably a matter of time before it gets integrated with some image models as well to where it can actually create some more robust images. But beyond that, another area that I really think this is going to be big for is the fact that you can go to ChatGPT and say, um, write me a prompt I can use in the image generator Dolly 2 for x y and z Um, and so it can actually help you write prompts for these image generators so i think that's for me the biggest tie between chat gpt and um, graphic design and how it's going to disrupt graphic design is that while it may not be generating the images it can generate the prompts to generate the images so i want to talk about some areas i think that this combination is going to disrupt first off is advertising which is an industry that heavily relies on graphic design to create really impactful and engaging visual content that's you know pretty much what they do with ai image generation advertisers can now automate the design of their ads and that makes it a lot faster and easier to create thousands of variations of a particular ad within minutes and test them all right if you know anything about facebook ads you know that Um, You're always trying to create new ad creatives to test on your Facebook ad campaigns to see which ones convert the best. And this is a way that you could create thousands of variations of a winning ad campaign and really test them out. So AI can help um, advertisers really personalize their ads um, by generating unique images for each target audience based on their preferences and behaviors. I think that's going to be amazing. Another area is fashion, which is another industry that's going to benefit a lot from AI image generation. So with the technology, um, designers can now create new designs and patterns by analyzing existing ones and generating new ones based on the same characteristics, which is going to be a pretty crazy uh, concept for them. It's going to help them a lot. So this can help to speed up design processes, and I think it's going to help to increase the variety of designs available as well. One other area is publishing. So publishing is an industry that relies heavily on graphic design to create book covers, magazine layouts, and a lot of other just visual content. 
So with AI image generation, publishers can automate the design process, and this makes it a lot faster and easier to create covers and layouts for their publications. I personally have used this by asking Midjourney to design me the homepage of websites or design me product pages, and it does a pretty good job. In fact, I was recently creating a software um, and I had it design the entire dashboard um, just using a bunch of different prompts. So really, really powerful um, using those types of tools. Another area is web design, like I just mentioned, which I have used. Um, Midjourneys does a great job of designing concepts for your web design, and it's not necessarily like, oh great, this is a perfect image of exactly what it's gonna be, but it gets you pretty far, and you can take that to a designer to tweak it and change it. One other area is packing designs. So packaging or packaging designs. Packaging um, is really just an industry that relies very heavily on graphic design to create, you know, to make their products look appealing, um, sometimes when they change the packaging or the designs on packaging, the product will double its sales. So it really is a big area. Um, and with this AI image generation, designers can create unique designs for every single product and make it way easier to differentiate products and stand out in what would be otherwise a crowded market. Something I sort of mentioned earlier is UX designers. So UX designers are people that have uh, the skills to design user interfaces and experiences that are really intuitive. So think of like, web apps or like your banking app how they design that on the inside it's not so much just like graphics but it's how kind of the the ux design of the whole thing is done um so ai image generators are really good at creating um ui ux designs ui ux that's really uh intuitive and you can actually give it prompts like make a design for a product that does x y and z that's super intuitive and uh, when it comes to those ui ux designs for software it's actually very good so Overall, I think that AI image generation is set to really transform the graphic design industry. It's going to create a lot of new opportunities and it's going to, auto, auto, uh, it's going to automate a lot of different tasks that were previously really time consuming and required a lot of specialized skills. So I think this technology really offers a lot of benefits to uh, industries that rely on graphic design, including advertising, fashion, publishing, web design, packaging, you know, UI, UX for different softwares. And I think that while it may disrupt some jobs in the graphic design industry, I think it actually creates a lot of new job opportunities for individuals with skills to work with. So, right, like I said, overall, this thing doesn't generate like a brand new image of a website that you could use. It generates some good concepts and now a designer can go and run with those and actually build them out in Figma or Adobe XD or whatever tool they use um, and have them implemented. So I think this is actually just going to make designers 10 times more productive. Um, and you still obviously need a human designer to go and put all the elements together. So I think this is something that's going to be very disruptive in the space, but it's going to really help to drive innovation and make us a lot more productive in the graphic design industry. The innovation in AI right now is absolutely exploding. If you want to stay on top of all the insane disruptions and innovation that's happening right now, you need to subscribe to our newsletter on AIbox.ai. We send you daily everything that is happening, the news and the crazy advancements in AI technology straight to your inbox for free every single day. So go to AIbox.ai, subscribe and stay ahead of the curve on the world of AI. You've been listening to the ChatGPT podcast. Make sure to rate us wherever you listen to your podcasts and have a fantastic week.